you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion of chrome wetters With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The south stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms to check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit, nomercytv.com. Y'all know I ain't really the guy to go to for um politics, but today was crazy, man. Today was crazy with all the uh, stuff going on in D.C. Um, I was watching social media watching the news and you know um man where do we start you know <laughs> where do we start um i know there was a big election that uh took place down in georgia you know so they finally got their first black uh i believe it's senator that they got and um you know that they had that going on and then um what was it i know like it was like the leader of the proud boys got uh arrested for for burning uh i think he like burned a black lives matter flag in front of like you know a historical uh black museum i believe it was don't kill me in the comments you feel me i just just kind of skimmed through the article to see what it was that he got arrested for but um trump basically went on twitter and called for a protest and that led to a whole bunch of proud americans storming the white not the white house the congress building you feel me basically storming the capitol and um it was crazy man like you, I'm, I'm looking at the pictures the video footage you got uh the the officials barricading themselves inside you got um who who got who got uh escorted out i think it was trump uh Pelosi. they have been evacuated that's the word they used evacuated listen it's because it's one thing to be escorted out somewhere. When they say you've been evacuated, that means they got you somewhere else far away from all the turmoil you and all that. You feel me? And that's like, that's like damn near um, extraction choppers and all that. Like they really have to hide you and, and do you on some, some disaster verse hollow and really like put you in a blanket and then like smuggle, smuggle you somewhere. You feel me? But... It was just it was just wild watching this on on you know social media and everything. And one thing that you cannot deny is white privilege. You can't you can't deny it. You can't deny it because let me tell you, had that been a riot full of people my color and darker, yeah, it'd have been a whole lot of bodies out there. It'd have been a whole lot of bodies out there. They'd have started shooting ASAP. You feel me? But for some reason, when Trump says, oh, when the looting starts, the shooting starts, apparently that only applies to black people and black issues. For some reason, this didn't apply today. You know, you're looking all through the pictures. I'm trying to see if I can find at least a few black faces. No bullshit. I've probably seen like a good two or three. In a sea of how many thousand? It's kind of crazy when you look at it. You feel me? But um, it was one lady that, you know, she wound up getting shot. I think she got shot in the chest or something like that. Um, She made it to the hospital, but she didn't survive. So, you know, that, that was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy. I was just like, oh, the, the one person that, you know, they happened to, to take out a female. You feel me? And I even felt kind of iffy about that because it's the female. Like, you're doing shooting females. You understand? Like, I'm not with the whole trying to, to shoot people, really. Especially if they're not really endangering anybody or, like, not um having somebody within, like, danger of losing their lives. Like, 
not with that shooting shit in that case, especially when you're talking about protesting and all that. We, we talk about the street shit another time, but when you talk about protesting, I normally don't feel like there's a need for guns to come out, period. But in this particular situ in this particular situation, it's 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 kind of bittersweet because you're like, yo, if that's a whole bunch of black people, all kinds of guns is coming out, they sicking the dogs on us, the fire hose. The riot shields, the police batons, they beating the hell out of us, arresting us, all of that. I'm watching this go on in D.C. This is the capital. This is the capital of the country. This is going on and nothing. No type of resistance. You understand? So, you know, um, when, when I see, you know, that it's, it's a woman that gets shot like, come on, man. Come on, a woman of all people. Like it, it was, it was just wild to me, you know. And, and then the fact that she passed away, like it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, that one incident, you know, that one casualty, to me, don't reflect how bad it would have been for us. Because it'd have been way worse, you know. The they they the you remember uh that scene in Resident Evil where they tried to walk through the hallway and then the lasers and all that converged on them and started cutting them up and everything. Yeah, let us have storm the White House. There's gonna be a whole bunch of that. You feel me? They would have activated every Tony Stark object that they'd have had on deck, all sorts of missile launchers, rocket launchers. They damn near would have nuked their own White House if black people would have stormed that shit. But they did it. You feel me? Like it was really the even though the one lady got killed in the situation, it's like that's really minimal in comparison to what would have happened. You feel me? And th this country can only blame itself. This country can only blame itself. Like let them. This is one of them situations where black people get to fall back and just chill with the popcorn, and we get to just watch the show. Let them have a civil war. You feel me? Like let them battle it out amongst each other because this, this is really more so kind of republicans versus republicans like they they in the news talking about yo it's about to be a, a third political party and all that why so it could be uh two sets of republicans and one set of democrats you feel me like regardless it's still republican base but it just becomes two parties that have opposing views on certain things and the Democrats still in some shade, shade form or fashion become outnumbered. You understand? So, nah, -uh. that three political party thing, no. It's going to divide the Republicans into two, let the Democrats divide into two. Make the playing field a little even. You feel me? And, you know, though I don't get, you know, deep into politics and stuff, this is just really like surface level shit that to me would just make sense. You know, like, nah. Nah, don't don't let it be be three political parties. Nah, let it be four. If it's gonna be, oh, the Republicans are splitting in half, then hey, let the Democrats do the same thing. You feel me? That way, it still kind of, kind of, stays even across the board. Even though we know in the full in the full picture of things, it's more so you know the the Republican agenda that's gonna be, you know, what gets pushed at, at you know any given moment. So you know, um, but it, it was just crazy to watch, man. It was just crazy to watch. It was crazy to watch. And you you actually get to see white privilege in real time. Like, you actually get to watch it play out when people are uploading these videos and you're seeing, like, these cops are even taking selfies with some of them. I'm like, what? You got them climbing the walls and all this. Y'all trying to build a wall. Keep Mexicans out talking about they climbing the gates and stuff like that. And then y'all doing the same thing just like sheesh you know and it's like damn so so y'all y'all be looking at us a certain way you know with the whole calling it black on black crime and stuff. this look like white on white crime to me you feel me and it's like oh I, I guess now the shoes on the other foot we get to look at y'all like damn look at them crazy people killing each other like that's what it looks like from where i stand you understand but um overall man you know you you had this bozo uh, 45, we're going to call him, Agent Orange 45, that, um, you know, he basically called for this on Twitter, and <laughs> Twitter wound up suspending his account, so now he can't tweet no more, which is good, like, 
let Twitter fingers have a little break. You feel me? And the second he get out that office, hopefully they suspend his Twitter account and hopefully they lock his dumb ass up. You feel me? For all the stuff that he done did throughout the years that he been president. You understand? Because when he get out, not only is he going to be facing a lot of charges, he's going to have a lot of lawsuits on his hand. He's going to have a lot of them, you know, and it's going to be crazy. So they need to be waiting for him. Like, I ain't going to hold y'all. I personally feel like going to D.C. on the 20th to see that man take the walk of shame when he has to leave that house. I really want to see it. I want to see it firsthand. You know, um, I want to see how the inauguration is going to be. Like, I want to see what Trump temperature is going to be with Biden and how he's going to... I'm, I'm telling you, he's going to be a bad sport about the whole situation, too. He's going to be a very bad sport. He's going to be mad as hell. He probably not going to dap the nigga up or nothing like that. He's going to be standing there with that mean face. I know how he be looking at. Just looking like that, like, and not showing him no type of love, like, you know, so... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Inauguration night is probably going to be the last night that I expect shit to really, like, go left. I, and I'm telling you, it's, it's going to go left. There's going to be a lot coming out of that night, whether it's, like, something um chaotic, whether it's just some BS that happens, you know, up on that stage with Trump and Biden, like... It's definitely going to be something. Who knows? Them two might get to swinging at each other. You feel me? Like, and I think that'll be the funniest thing of all time. Inauguration night and two presidents up there scrapping, squaring up. Like, I think that'll be, you know, hilarious. But um, it's just a sign of the times, man. It's just a sign of the times, man. 2021 coming off a crazy year with 2020. And now they getting this bozo up out of here. And hopefully they continue to, to just shut down this whole bs agenda this whole white power and proud american type shit it's like come on man y'all done all the stuff that y'all done did to you know steal this country from other people and all this other stuff and now all of a sudden what what i, I was watching the news and somebody said something about oh um abiding by the law and stuff like that it's like yeah y'all want to use that when it's convenient for y'all when it's convenient for y'all proud American agenda. But then when it's everybody else doing the writing, then it's like, oh, I forgot who tweet they pulled up on um, the, the Tommy Lauren chick. You feel me? She said something about when, when the George Floyd protests happened and she was like, oh, rioting and protesting your own community is not the right way to do things or something. She said something to that effect and people dug it up and brought it back to the timeline. Like, you had this energy for that situation. Why you don't have that energy for this one? You feel me? So uh, it was just an interesting day, you know, watching all this shit unfold. Um, I want to know what y'all think about it. How do y'all feel about it? How do y'all feel about, you know, the state of this country? Where do y'all think we're headed, you know, once the the uh, transition of power happens and then, you know, it's going to be Biden? Like, what do y'all think Trump is going to have to endure after he leaves? Like, what do y'all think is going to happen? Because I'm interested to see you know, what everybody else thinks because I want to really be locked in and in tune and see what really happens with this guy once he leaves office. So let me know what y'all think and I'll holler at y'all soon, man. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV.com. I'm out of here.